Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to probably the most overused idea I've ever thought of. I don't know. So, yeah, I'm gonna rate all of the characters in the Grubhub Cinematic Universe. <laughs> and there's actually many, there, well, there's like two other videos or like three more ads that Grubhub made, which is where these last two characters come from the the goth chick and the the delivery guy they were in the same ad and uh, the other two like all the rest have been in the you know the first cringe ad but the pregnant lady apparently had her own ad which i can't even find but yeah there's there's lore there's lore in this whole <coughs> in this whole uh, Grubhub universe, man. So, I guess we'll start with the with the dad. Yep, that is that's the dad. So, the, I think the running lore is that the dad is uh, the dad. This is this kid's dad, and um, this is his wife, and she's been pregnant for a good while now, or something. I don't know, but yeah, that's. That's what we've learned so far. We need a um, Globhub lore analysis so we can keep moving. Anyways, yeah, the dad gets a. Here's the thing, in the in the video, he's like, his dance moves are okay. They're not that slick, but they're not that cringe either. So, I don't know. This guy gets a C tier. He's not the best. But he's not the worst either, because we have we still have salad girl, and we still have pregnant lady. We'll get to pregnant lady in a minute, but for now the dad gets a C tier. I think that's fair. Now the kid, the kid is honestly probably the most, the, like the most properly proportioned character in the entire universe. You know he's. And he has the same reaction we did at first, when um, when his dad starts dancing and shit, and he's like, "Okay, dad, what are you doing? This is kind of cringe." But then he joins in at the end, so you know, kind of takes away everything that I just said. But you know, considering the fact that he's probably the most normal out of all of them, I give this kid a B tier. I mean, I know that's very high considering. How bad it is, but you know, relatively, this kid gets a B tier. Come on, like this is, un you can't prove me wrong here. Um, first sushi guy, sushi guy is, he's like a sushi 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 guy and sushi girl are both like background characters. Honestly, you don't really see much of them. However. Sushi guy does get his own ad, so you know that does imply that he might be a main character of some sort in the universe. But who knows? Um, you know, all things considered, I think I don't know. This is hard. I'll just give him because we don't know. We still don't know much about him, and he's only in one ad. If you look up his look up the channel, it's one fifteen second ad. And we only see like five seconds of him, I think. I don't know. So, yeah. We don't know too much about him. So, I give this guy a D tier. Just for the... Just... Because until we until they maybe release a new ad or something, and he's featured again, then that, that might imply that he has more, uh, you know, like, um, influence in the fucking universe i don't know guys what am i doing <laughs> okay but i mean since if i give this guy d tier then i give sushi girl an f tier you don't see much of her at all her dance moves are dog shit i mean they're all dog shit but you know they're bad and she's kind of a side character you see her for a few seconds in the first ad and that's about it the only thing he has uh, above her is just the fact that he has his own ad so that's kind of a flex. Okay, next one. Sushi girl is... Sorry, salad girl is depths of hell. Just obvious reasons. 
she moves like fucking Satan. No, thank you. We'll move on now. Um, uh, pregnant lady. Pregnant lady is bad. She's very, very bad. But here's the thing. She has her own ad too. So, you know, I'm, I'm compelled to give her F tier. Just because of that. But I don't, like, her dance is just as bad as Salad Girl. And maybe even worse. And in the, in the, in the, in her own ad, it's like, mega cringe. It's like, even worse than the, than the, what's this guy? This guy, Sushi guy's name. Sushi guy's ad. So. Yep, depths of, depths of hell. I'm sorry. Like, these two just belong here. It makes sense. You can't put them anywhere above them. I'm sorry, it just has to be done. Okay, now these two are special because they only appear in one ad and that's it. You never see them again. So, that could just because of that, because of the ex exclusivity, I'd say I'd give them maybe a, a D tier or a C tier. But I, I mean, again, the ad is kind of short and they don't do much. Like she, she orders the food and he's the guy who delivers it. That's really it. You see him a, a few times because she keeps opening, like closing the door on him. And I don't know. Uh, she kind of reminds me of the girl from Hotel Transylvania and her proportions are okay. So, and they don't do make, they don't make any stupid dances. Well, she doesn't, so. Uh, she can't, I don't think she's a main character, because we don't see her for too long. So, I, yeah, I think it's D tier. I give her a D tier. Makes sense. And last one, last but not least, is Delivery Man. <sighs> this guy's like, man, this guy, he just, he just, walks weird and he moves weird and stuff and they animate him so often his face is like a eggplant I don't know why they made his face look like an eggplant but it's because of that you know he's just it's just in her ad and that's it you don't see him anywhere else animations are off his moves are off you get an F tier that's it, boys. That's my video. Like and subscribe. <laughs>